Alright boys and girls. Northwest Bush Crafter. And there you go. That's my little uh, my pasta MRE. I've already had a few mouthfuls there just to make sure it's, uh, it's up to scratch. But that there is really nice. And all I've done is warmed it up for a couple of minutes. You know, most people don't ever kind of get them out of the packet so you can have a look. But I mean, it is, it's literally it's pasta, there's beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, and a nice sauce. Um, that there's a meal, do you know what I mean? Um, it's going to do the job. And obviously, we've just used to cook that meal uh, the hexi burner with one of the fire dragon fuel blocks in there. And that fuel block there, I'll be honest with you, I thought it'd get a little bit more burn time out of it. We ended up getting about, just, I'd say, just short of 10 minutes. But it was enough to get the uh, get the water up to the boil and uh, and get this uh, MRE warmed up nice enough. Uh, and we also did a bit of uh, a bit of char cloth as well. Um, now a lot of that just done still cooling down. But what what I have got is a nice little dry bag, a little one litre dry bag. And in that I've got a load of the first char cloth that I made. There's a couple of bits in there that haven't quite gone, but rather than separating it all, it's all just gone in there. Do you need a minute? It's all pretty much good stuff. But there's uh, there's a lot of much better stuff in there. And I mean, I have tested it, uh, and it does work. Um, you get one tiny, tiny, tiny little spark off your fire steel onto some of that, and you're good to go. Um, so there you go. Dry sack's definitely something else that comes in handy. Um, and obviously I'm literally just using that little one for the time being just to store fire lighting stuff. Um, that's going to be my little fire lighting bag. Uh, keep everything nice and dry in there and you've not got a problem. So there you go. Um, first, first MRE in a long, long, long time. Um, definitely enjoying it. Um, definitely good stuff. Uh, a couple of minutes to make. Uh, and obviously all we've used to make it is the Crusader mug and the uh, the Hexamine stove uh, and that is literally all you need I was going to test out the uh, the new Warrior compact stove that we've just done a video of but I didn't even need to, I thought you know what I'm going to give these new Fire Dragon blocks a go um, and we'll see what the crack is so Fire Dragons, yeah they're pretty decent um, they do last a fair while I think if anything, I still kind of prefer the hexamine. They do have a bit of a, a bit more of a smell to them, and um, you know what I mean. They, I suppose they are more toxic. Like these ones are supposed to be green. Um, they don't really stink as much, so I suppose for that benefit, they are quite good. Um, so the uh, fire dragon, I definitely give a thumbs up to. It's good stuff, good fuel. Um, the hexamine stove, as always, amazing bit of gear. And, uh, and that little metal crusader mug as well. That's literally all you need. So there you go. Um, a bit of food for you. MRE, MOD style. And I'll leave you with that Northwest Bushcrafter over and out.